Hey guys, Levi here with Try and Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a Adams parachute. It's a classic dry fly, a take on Leonard Halliday's uh, traditional Adams. Super effective pattern for trout. Good slate drake imitation as well. So we're going to get started with an Arax FW502 hook. This is a size 14, but you can tie it anywhere from 20, 22, all the way up to a 10 or so. Um, it's a pretty versatile fly in terms of size. So we're gonna wrap a base of unithread. This is a dot in the color tan. Color doesn't matter, you can get away with gray, maybe a black if you like. But once we get that thread base laid down, we're gonna roll right into some tailing material. And for the tail, we're using a combo of Grizzly and brown uh, hackle fibers. This comes from a neck hackle. And when you're choosing your feathers, I like to get them from the spade area, which is gonna be eh, more or less this area right here, because those have the longest and stiffest uh, fibers for your tails on dry flies. And that goes for any dry fly. Not very webby, and they usually have the length you need. So there's one, once you're happy with it. Just pull it out and we'll do the same for our brown. So once you have those feathers, I just like to pull them right off the stem. You don't need a whole lot of them since you're getting it from two different feathers, but size them up if need be. I'll tend to just kind of manipulate them in my fingers a little bit just to get those colors blended. As you can see, we have a, a, a nice uh, scheme there between the two. So measure those up, and you want them to be right about the length of the hook shank. And when you tie these in, any extra stub ends, you can just run those right up to where the wing will be. From the tail, we're going to move right into the wing. And we're using calf tail for the wing. This is a nice one here. You could use calf body as well, but uh, I like the tail better. It has a nice crinkled effect to it. And all of the materials that we're using today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. And orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So if you want to get these atoms in your box for fall, got everything you need there. And uh, this is a real good imitation for slate drakes, which do have into hatch in the fall so if you need any further incentive to stock this fly in your box right now so we clipped our calf tail and we have probably about a quarter width of a pencil and i'm just getting the shorts out right now so they don't really contribute to anything with this fly and sometimes it comes right off the tail and it's a nice even tipped bunch but this doesn't happen to work like that so we're gonna stick it in the hair stacker. So get it in there and uh, just straighten that out. And then we'll get it out of here and it should be nice and straight. And you can get rid of anything that's uneven in there and clip it straight just for convenience. All right, so we're gonna measure this we want it to be about one and a half times the gap of the hook. So get that measured up and we're gonna tie it in right about 70% of the way up the hook shank. So tie it in with one loose wrap, another loose wrap, and then we'll crank it in and put a couple of wraps up front to get that vertical profile here. You don't need a whole lot, you see, but you do want to make sure that it's straight up at a 90 degree angle. All right, so once you have your wing straight, right, riding up, now we're going to throw some wraps around the post. And this can be tricky. And you'll see it'll slip out. What I like to do is just support it with my left hand and then lightly wrap around the post. You don't want super tight wraps, but you also don't want them to be so light that they're not biting into the material. So work it up about 20% of that wing, and that gives a place for our hackle to bind to whenever we go to wrap this hackle. And if you're unsure, throw a little glue in there, but 
You don't want to rely on the glue. You should rely on your thread wraps instead. So that's good. And you'll see that it has that uh, nice place for us to wrap our hackle on. And just as the name implies, we're going to use the super fine dry fly dubbing in the color of Adam's gray. This fly is so popular, it has a dubbing name after it. So less is definitely more here. You want to get this wrapped, applied to your thread rather than wrap dubbing. But get that on your thread. You can see how fine it is. You don't need a whole lot. We'll start winding this up. And you'll see as I get towards the wing, I'm just letting this get a little thicker to uh, imitate that nice pronounced thorax that most bugs have. So now that we have our body wrapped, we're gonna move into some saddle hackle. You can use neck hackle, but I just tend to like the performance of saddle a little better. You get a little more to hold in your hand, so get, it's a good size right there. You need a brown and a grizzly. It's a size 14. You can use a hackle gauge should you need to. And this one, grab one off of here as well. And these are both whiting. Silver grade dry fly hackles, saddles rather, I'm sorry, silver grade dry fly saddles. And these things are super nice. Got a lot of feathers on there as well. So what we wanna do now is just put these feathers with the points facing up. We wanna get the stem side wrapped and tied down. And we're just gonna match these up. Make sure they're the same uh, size. You don't want two different size feathers in there because it's gonna look weird on the uh, wing. So size those up and like I said, if you need a hackle gauge, definitely err on caution with that and use it instead of just going blind. So once we have those matched up, we're gonna tie them in, strip some fibers off so it's not super bulky. So we'll tie those in with the shiny side facing away from us, just right in front of your wing, get those secured. And then you can snip off the excess. All right, so this is optional, but I like to do it. I think it cleans up the uh, fly just a little more. Just go in with a little tiny bit of dubbing on your thread and just clean up that thorax. Again, you don't need to do this, but I think it just makes for a better fly that's overall a little more uniform. I'm gonna cut these out so they're not in our way. Get that, a couple figure eight wraps with that dubbing, it's fine. So now that we have everything tied in, we're gonna wrap these hackles. We'll do them just right at the same time. You can do them individually, but I think it comes out a little cleaner if you wrap them just right at the same time. And that grizzly brown combo is really nice. We'll do one more wrap on there. And we can tie this in now. When you tie that in, sweep back the hackle fibers that you just wrapped so as to not get them stuck in there and then once you get that secured, I like to toss a half hitch in there. That way you don't have to worry about anything coming loose or losing your hackle before you get in there and snip it out because it's a big pain. So cut off the excess there. And now we'll sneak a whip finish in there. And that is a Parachute Adams. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we will see you next time.